Welcome back to Seaview Hotel. Today we are starting the final story of the game, which is none other than Jimmy's mother Rose. This is the story I've actually been most excited for because up until this point in the game, we haven't really heard anything to do with like the backstory of Jimmy. And if there was a time in the game that we'd learn about the backstory of Jimmy, it would be most likely now as the main story is focusing on Jimmy's mother Rose, as I already said. So... I did look at the scrying mirror, and apparently we need to go to floor 2 and floor 3. I guess I'll go to floor 2, see what's about, or I guess hear what's about, and then we'll go up to floor 3. So floor 3 hasn't really had anything on it so far. We've had like one or two sightings, but that's been pretty much it for floor 3, so... I guess floor 3 is going to have a big part in this story, potentially. So, I guess as I always do, I'll just go ahead and listen out to see if anything's happening. Jimmy? I thought freaking Jimmy was there already, okay. So we have nothing yet. I'm actually going to go and check the scrying mirror again. Because I checked it before. As I always do, like, at the end of each episode, I show the scrying mirror. Just so then you guys know what the next objective is. But potentially it showed a door. I'm sure it just showed the elevator, like, floor 2 and floor 3. So there's Rose there. We haven't actually seen her character yet, but that's what she looks like, I guess. And does that mean as well that Jimmy's mother is dead? Oh, I need to go there. It did not show that before. It showed freaking floor two and floor three, and that was it. Oh, right here, just floor three. Oh, okay. It's completely changed, even though I've done nothing since the last episode, or since it showed floor two and floor three. Also, as I can show you now, we are 70% through the story. Jimmy, thank you very much for not being there, mate. This is the wrong way. This is the right way. Never mind. This is episode number seven now, and I clearly don't freaking know the layout still. Okay, so I just had a thought. I know 100% that what I saw on the scrying mirror was near an elevator. So it's just like you turn left or right, and that should be where the sighting is. So I think that's what it is, but it showed floor three to suggest that what we need is an item that I don't have, but that item's going to be on floor three. This is floor one. We turn right. It's not that way. Left. It's not that way either. Okay. Well, it's not on floor one. I guess we'll check floor two. Hopefully I'm right. If I'm wrong, then I have no idea. I guess if I'm wrong, then I'll just go back up to floor three and try and find this item. It also showed completely open. Like here, you'll see that there's like one door closed. Is it this? Here we go. Going to shoot Jimmy. I waited there because I saw that both the doors were open. Look. Okay. You noted lady explaining the dagger, so we don't actually know who she is yet. I guess she was right here. Is anyone there? I've somehow shrunk when I went here as well, which is very weird. My voice vaguely heard. I, I guess, yeah, because she moved over this way, right? So is she standing here? I can't stand any is more, like, over that way. Like, I'll just move freely. I've gone into the storeroom here to see if Amy's here. Yep, okay, not Amy. Freaking Rose is here. And I'm definitely dead now, because Jimmy was literally in the freaking Yeah, he was in the bathroom. 100%. He would have caught me there. I don't like this. This part of the game. Like, I don't mind getting caught by Jimmy. It's not that bit. But, like, I freaking saw her walking over to that area. And also, yeah, the, the, this is a bug in the game. They're trying to fix this where you can't actually go that way. I have seen that they're apologizing to people. I think that if you do that, it should be fine. No, it's, it hasn't fixed it. Okay. I think if you go into a room and come out, then it should fix it. Also, why was I not in this room? Did I come out of the room so quickly that it didn't show the animation? That was very weird. But now, yeah, now you'll see this fixed. So I think, like, when you get caught by Jimmy for, like, the first 5-10 seconds, you just can't have that, like, straight arrow anymore. Which is fine. I mean, if that's the only freaking problem with the game, then fair enough. Something like Cyberpunk 2077. Okay, second try, I guess. Are you in the store, Rose? Can we finally start your story? Hello? You're in here, apparently. What's okay, your ask their name. So right now, we don't actually know who Rose is. Rose Hall. Rose Hall. Yeah, because Jimmy Hall. This is this is everyone's hotel, apparently. Jeez, I thought freaking Harvey said it was his hotel. I saw a lady. I guess it's yours instead. Was a letter opener. Who was she? That was me, or it was me. Okay. I guess that's why we didn't start Rose's story sooner, because it would have made no sense. Well, that's everything. 
Okay, so that's when the police arrived. We see the outside world a bit. I haven't seen the outside world at all since the first 15 minutes of the first episode. I've got to remember as well, like, the first 10-15 minutes of episode 1 was just the cutscene. Like, it took me about freaking 15-20 minutes to actually start playing the game. Okay, so that's it. Okay. Do I now go to just where that is? So I guess that's like the front door, right? Jimmy? Okay, that's good. I should have this key, right? I don't have any key. What? Why don't I have any keys anymore? The amount of freaking keys I got in the last episode. I guess I have got caught by Jimmy like three, maybe four times in that episode. And then like once in this one. So I guess, yes, if he gets rid of like one or two keys every time, then I'd have no keys now. I do think, is that the front door? I guess that's the only exit, right? That's really the only door that I've seen look like that. So I guess it is here. Let's turn around and see. Oh, here we go. Did I go too far? Is this it? Oh, here we go. Jimmy. I have to stand in the light. Jesus, that is... Well, that first of all was very... The hell? Um... You had a skull face. The hell was that about? Rose at the entrance. Yeah, okay. Well, at least we know where she freaking is. is. She's pretty much standing inside of me right there. Jesus Christ. Okay, well, you we need to have a serious it. freaking conversation, girl. What the hell was that about? That's the scariest thing that happened so far, and I saw a freaking little girl lying on the freaking stairs. On the way of bringing more guests. Okay, so this is something I need to do. I had to explain to the police that the dagger was just a letter opener and the Harvey had low. Oh no, that's the what? That's the wrong one. But this one, Jimmy was coming home. The police understood it was self-defense. But it changed him. He started helping run the hotel, and he found a way of bringing in more guests. How did he find a way of bringing them? I guess, yeah. Because it's a new it's character, a I need to ask about all of this, right? So once again... It was a letter opener. I will even the bits that actually have an answer, like this one. Okay. And the handgun. Who does the gun belong to? Harvey. But it was kept in my bedroom. Well, that was your bedroom, okay. Was At least we know where your bedroom hotel? is now. Maybe that's of importance. You might need if she said no there, how weird that would be. What are those rusty old keys for? The basement? They were to the boiler room. Oh, to the boiler room, okay. Have the, door replaced. the door replaced. I guess that's when the freaking boiler blew. What were all the crickets and baseball bats for? They used to belong to my husband when My god, she has an answer for everything. He was a teacher. Oh, husband Harvey? Is that right? Because the sports bats belong to Harvey, right? Or did Harvey get given it by someone? Why is there an old heater? I don't know. Dangerous. So far, Rose has had an answer for everything. Even the dangerous heater. No wonder, girl. It's not called freaking dangerous heater just for a laugh. So far, not really anything. Oh, the wedding ring is going to be quite interesting because that is Rose's. Why is there a washing line tied so far, nothing that can actually be... To do with this next thing, though. I don't know. You don't know about that. I'll keep you for this one, though. Ring wedding ring. To. Hopefully this will be interesting. It was mine. Someone made me an offer I couldn't refuse. I legit thought she meant freaking selling the wing, but that's obviously like getting married. Did I just say wing? So the suitcases and trophies, besides knowing that the suitcases are roses, we've never really had an answer for. So the suitcases... In the chest. These two definitely will be... To? Something. They were mine. They were yours. I, to go away, but I, I never got a chance. Them. Okay. Or never got chance. Brilliant grammar right there, game. But the goodbye note that was written by Jimmy. If that was to do with the mum, then the suitcases make sense, right? She used the suitcases to leave. Who As she won? said, she never got the chance, so I guess she died before she could. I mean, we know that. She's definitely going to die. All the other three have. Jimmy bought them to make it look like he'd won awards. Okay. 
Why did no one else know that? I've had that since from? the beginning, and that's the first time we've heard something about it. That's not, I don't know. The does pad belong to Dr. Bose, the and then the chef's hat. To. Not that interesting, but it's the last one, so I guess I'll keep you for this one. So I'm pretty sure I don't have the thing I need. Our chef used to wear it, okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I don't have. I mean, it's something that Jimmy used to get people in. Uh, photos of the fire? Who knows? Um, pretty sure I don't have anything. Yeah, like nothing here is going to get people to want to go to this hotel more. I don't think a freaking gun's going to make people want to come in more. So I guess, scrying mirror. Oh, actually, yeah, I need to go to floor three anyway, don't I? So of course I don't have the item. Unfortunately, I can't escape. I'm literally pressing the S key on the keyboard now, not doing anything. I guess that's another slight thing that I don't like about oh, 201. I'm glad. Never mind. I'm glad I freaking looked at this. I need to go to 201 and I guess floor 3 is the next sighting? I don't know. There's a painting there. I never freaking noticed that before. So all of these rooms here, are we eventually going to be able to go in them? I mean, knowing me, if I got a freaking key for them, I'd lose it the next freaking episode. It's like I freaking stopped the recording and that to the game says... Get rid of all of his keys. He doesn't want any of them anymore. Then again, you don't need the keys to finish the game. So I guess that's fine. It, it just makes life easier, like for me and uh, like staying away from Jimmy. Because if you use the stairs, obviously, then he doesn't hear you in the elevator. Because stairs, funnily enough, actually make a lot less noise than an elevator. Who would have freaking thunk that? Okay, we're back on floor two. I think down here would be the start, right? So it's 201 that I need to go into. Here we go. I'm getting a lot more use of the layout now. It's floor three. I don't really know the layout for. I want to post of a Jimmy Hall's comedy act. Oh, yeah. I completely forgot about that. Right at the beginning. That was one of the first things he said. Oh, there's no point in game. I'm going to freaking lose it in a second anyway. In fact, I probably... Have I already lost it now? Oh, my God. I've still got it. I've kept the key for more than five seconds. It's a freaking miracle. I completely forgot about his comedy act. He actually said that. To Mia, he said it was going to start at like midnight, I think. And then Mia said that she was going to be asleep by then. Or like before then. That was lucky. I turned around like a second before I freaking heard him. I need to go down. No, I don't need to go down this way. I am very much so freaking screwed right now. Let's go in here, shall we? Rose, I have this Hugo Punch poster. I'm pretty sure that you need it for something. Is it Rose? Is it Rose? Yes. Good. Take your freaking sweet ass time to answer. Yes, okay. Hugo Punch. Hugo Punch poster. That was Jimmy's comedy act. Is Jimmy's comedy act. We still haven't seen it. I very much so hope we do see it now. We go back to when the freaking stage Jimmy and watch found it. A way of bringing in more guests. Is that connected to what you said about the Hugo Punch poster? I freaking hope so. Okay. Oh, that's that's him. We saw Hugo already. I mean, it wasn't that funny what we freaking saw. Hopefully that was the intro. Hopefully that wasn't a freaking punchline or anything. But that is actually the start of Rose's story. If you look up, like, at Dead of Night Rose's story... And that's what I've been doing. Like, you can look up at Dead of Night, Amy's story, Harvey's story, and then people actually upload, like, the different stories. I've, I've just played the game fully, because when I started, I didn't realise that there were different stories. I only realised in like episode 3 or 4. But yeah, that actually is the start of Rose's story. I didn't see what that was, but I'm assuming I go here now. I can hear a lot of people. I don't go there. It's got very freaking silent. That's not good. Do I go backstage and see Jimmy, potentially? Oh, here Ladies we go. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage your entertainment for this evening. I was about to say no I can see you, but I guess that's the whole point. Great. You know it's Rose backstage and Alison Hugo Punch. I literally went to see if he was freaking performing. If I saw Jimmy up there performing, I'd freaking get out of here straight away. Is it Rose? Well, remember that this is what's happened in the past. It's not happening right now. Okay. I saw you announcing this. Hugo Punch onto the stage. Are you sure this isn't going to be something I need a thing for? Well, I guess now we go up to floor three. Okay. 
But he isn't actually bad. It's just he's got this split personality that makes him act bad. You seem that. Oh, we actually do want to need an item for this. Okay. I was enjoying it. We were making money again. Then Jimmy started behaving oddly. I heard him shouting, stare at himself. He seemed angry. Staring at himself. Hmm. Is that maybe the broken mirrors? Yes, Jimmy broke the mirrors. What that makes sense. What you said about Jimmy staring at himself and becoming angry. I just thought staring at himself, obviously you need a mirror for that. Mirrors? Here we go. That's seven years of bad luck, I think it is. You don't need to tell me, girl. A lot of strange things have happened in this hotel. That is floor number three. We actually do need to go up to floor three now. I guess if I stayed there, like, before that, it would have still happened, potentially. As the game was already hinting at me having to go. I guess that's what the game was doing, yeah. Like, hinting at what I needed to do next. I guess still I wouldn't have been able to do that then. Because, obviously, as Rose has talked about stuff that happened, like, just before this... I wouldn't have been able to do that and it wouldn't have made any sense because Rose had been like, oh, you know that play that Jimmy did? And then we haven't done that part yet, so I guess that's why the game wants you to do stuff in this order. But that should be... I should have this right now, right where I was, like, right at the beginning, thinking that it was here. It should just be on the left here, right? I can already hear something right here. Never mind. Right? Never mind again. Oh, it's not. Oh, it is over here. Okay. So that's. I thought that was right out the elevator, but I guess not. We're down here. I don't really use the compass. I guess the compass is pointing to where I need to be, right? I just don't really use that that much. Yeah, it's pointing right the other way, Jimmy. Okay, good. We sound quite close here. Is it right here? Okay, before Jimmy gets me right here, I'm gonna go into a room. Okay, we're good. I'm just gonna go in here for a minute. So this definitely is right here. I guess I just have to be further away, potentially. Okay, Jimmy isn't here. Oh no. Jimmy. No, never mind. Oh, no, this is the sighting. My god, I had a freaking brain fart right there. Jesus Christ. I thought that was Jimmy, then realized it wasn't Jimmy, then my brain started to freaking fart, and I couldn't make a freaking sentence come out of my mouth. That's great. Where am I going? Clearly, I need to talk to Rose now. My God. I have is completely forgot. Wh who am I? Where am I? What freaking time is it? It's half 12, by the way. Oh, okay. I did assume that she was more down here. She was pretty much like here, right? Is Next to these there? doors. Rose finding lots of man- I love mannequins. Like most people that play horror games, love for mannequins is unreal. Rose here? Is anyone there? Was she in one of the rooms because she was next to them both? Okay. Even further away, so she's definitely in one of these rooms. I don't think I can enter one of these, right? I can enter this one. Are you in here, girl? Is this your room? Is anyone there? I remember you talking about your room before. Here we go. Parvit. Spirit is, is making Rose? contact. Is it Rose? I think the other room I can't actually enter. So there's two rooms on this floor that are locked. And I just can't enter at all. I saw you standing in a corridor full of mannequins. Who put them there? Jimmy. I didn't understand this first. I guess for his comedy act. I mean, that's kind of normal. Of a thing for him to do. Yeah, it, it was bad, Jimmy. I mean, we kind of knew this already. This is the one thing about Jimmy that we knew. Is that his bad side was definitely signed to show. I'll be honest, I did know that kind of. I didn't know that he was a good person. But I did kind of know the ad like... I mean, I said it to begin with, like a split personality type thing. So that, that was everything. Okay, Rose is gone now. Let me leave. It would be cool if I just suddenly see Jimmy and he's actually good. That would be kind of cool. So the scrying mirror showed me 301. And I don't think there's been an item in here before. Well, there's nothing. Oh. Well, that means Jimmy's here. It went really freaking dark. I guess I was sitting in the animation of going out of the 
like that animation of opening the thing. So this is clearly something. It's just obviously not something right now. So I'm right next to here. I guess I'll go down to the ground floor as the game's told me to. But let's see. You are very close, so I'm going to leave right now. Obviously, once again, going in the elevator, he's going to know I'm on this floor. But he doesn't go to the lower ground or the ground floor. So that's good. I guess he goes to the basement, though. Because now we know he has a freaking basement, which is just great. Haven't been there yet, though. Don't know if I can actually go there. Would be cool, too. Okay, another stage performance, I guess. There are a lot of people cheering. Are we actually going to see people? There's no one in there. Okay. And it just fades away. Okay, so there's nothing there. I don't know where this is then. Oh, it's, his comedy it's right here apparently. It's Why is Rose humor. always right next to me? I'm sorry if you've been offended. Excuse me. Okay. So she walked in here. So that means she's here, right? Is it Rose? Is it Rose? Okay. Bang on straight away. Never mind. I wasn't bang on straight away. Is she just where she was? I still don't get this. I'm the only YouTuber in the entire freaking platform that still doesn't understand where Is these characters would be freaking standing. Yes. You are just here. Brilliant. Fantastic. That's wonderful news, that. I saw you in the So morning. glad that you're standing the here. Booing and you were apologizing. What was happening? Jimmy is bad. Or Jimmy turned bad. Okay. Jimmy couldn't take the criticism, I guess. He did something stupid. What did he do? Well, I guess I don't have the thing that I need. I guess I'll, I'll do that for now. Just something stupid. So let's see. There's still some things I haven't... Oh! Maybe? The trophies. He bought the trophies to when make him look like Jimmy he won awards. Did something stupid. Does that have anything to do with what you said about the trophies? He showed people that he had won awards from... Is that? Oh, come on. That that would have been good. He bought the awards to make it seem like he got them from his comedy act. That? I mean, I'm wrong. But that is quite freaking clever thinking from me, seeing as though I'm very much so freaking small-brained. Okay, so I had to look this one up. I had no idea what this one is. Apparently, it's the coil of wire. It didn't look like a coil of wire. It kind of looked like a gas canister stupid. type thing. Is that connected to what you said about the coil of wire? I think I've used the coil of wire before. Oh no, I haven't. I thought I needed to, but it was the crossbow. Okay. That's what put me off, because I thought I already used it. Or oh, told the newspapers. I guess that's when Jimmy got hold of the newspaper and changed it right for the Dr. Bo story, potentially. And that is... Is that just the front door again? I guess that's the bell from the front desk then, right? So I guess I go back there. That's literally right here. So it showed at the door. Is it going to be like down here? Well, here we go. Well, that door there. This is cool. Oh, that room. Can I go in there? I haven't been able to before. I can't still. Okay. So hopefully it's right here because I can't go in that room. Rose? Oh, here's Rose. Okay. Yes. See that? Sometimes you have to go to where they went. Like with Harvey, he went in the elevator up to the ground floor and it was there where he was. But now, Rose went into that room, but for some reason she's here now. Like upset. that doesn't really People make any sense. I wish it was just Who either all the time where you see them or all the time where you see them going is where they are. Journalists, okay. Oh, so Hugo punches the, the person that we see. He catches us. Hugo punches the character that we saw in the mirror at the beginning, I guess. Okay. He just wanted to... He just wanted to leave everything behind and go. Uh, journalists were banging on the door. They wanted Jimmy. Uh, but it was Hugo Punch who tied the woman up. Jimmy couldn't control it anymore. He was depressed. He just wanted to leave everyone behind and go. So the only other thing I can think of to use is when I said about the suitcases that Jimmy left the goodbye note before leaving. 
the potentially wanted to leave everything behind and go when you said Ginny so we wrote to a goodbye note behind and go is that connected after to the that i don't note? know i guess then i'll check the scrying mirror i guess then maybe it's somebody on the third floor oh here we go never mind Making him catch me a hundred million times and getting rid of all my keys. How dare him? Wait, so am I correct? Is Jimmy dead? Or two? Okay. I saw that Rose's story was quite short. So I was hoping to finish it here and then for the next episode that will be the ending. I guess if the next recording is a bit short then I'll put it in this one. That's why I always record these uh, a few days ahead so that I have enough time to do that. But let's go to floor two. Who knows? This could be the ending right here. We could see actually what happens. So it showed floor two. I don't think it showed an area though, did it? Oh, I can hear something actually. Never mind. This way maybe? Oh, here we go. Oh, in one of the rooms. It very much so sounds like this room. But then the sound just goes. Why does the sound just disappear? I need to keep hearing the sound to know what freaking room it is. Brilliant. Stair Actually, that's a good key to have for the next three seconds. And another key. That's great. Oh. Okay. I looked the other way, but it didn't work. Jesus. Oh, Jimmy tried drowning himself, maybe. Was that like all the water sound going on? Why does the sound stop though? That's weird. Yes, I'm Rose. Okay. I saw you. Rose finding Jimmy there. in the bathroom. It looked like. Or maybe he was like trying to hang himself in the what shower happened? potentially. Lovely thought. It was Jimmy. He tried to kill himself. That's why I had to tell him the truth. Truth. Okay, I definitely don't have an item for this. So the only other thing that I can think of that goes with the whole Hugo thing is when we saw the great Hugo on stage. We haven't been able to share this with anyone properly yet, as we just saw it, but then obviously Hugo isn't a character that we can actually speak to. I saw someone so I guess on stage, I'll ask about this. a performer, announcing himself as the great Hugo. Okay, so I guess Jimmy was trying to be like him then. Well, things developed. Is that then with the the wedding ring then potentially? Is it a wedding ring? Hello, ring. There we go. When you said things to see that item. With Hugo, is that connected to the wedding ring? Yes. Okay, we there we go. Wasn't that obvious, but obviously, as we've been talking about the great Hugo, that's really the only other thing that I had that we haven't asked about yet. Things change with Hugo. Okay. Do I have something to do with that? Oh, I, I can't actually ask about. Oh no, has she gone? I'm in contact with Rose still, but that's... That's a thing, right? That's a... What is that? A connection? So I can't do anything with that, but Rose is still here. Okay. Well, it must be something to do with Rose finding Jimmy in the bathroom, right? I must have something to do with connecting with that. I guess I'll check the scrying mirror. I'm not too sure about this. I've never had this before, like you asked two things. But I see. The scrying mirror always points me the right direction. I think I do need to go to... Yeah, okay, I do need to go to floor three. Room 305. So this is the thing that the game's been desperately trying to tell me for the last hour. That I need to go to freaking floor three. I will go there now, and this time, something will actually be there. Jimmy, I don't want you being there. You are there. Brilliant. Well, I actually heard Jimmy in the elevator then. That was cool. I haven't seen that before. So I've just got my device again for the 10,000th time this series. Now I need to go to room 305. That's 301 there. 302. 30. No, that's 307, right? Because 303 is down this way. 
The 305 is here? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And this is the area that before we've seen Rose in. So I guess it makes sense that an item is here. Hopefully. Not in there. There we go. You found a toy for a baby. They had a freaking baby as well. Why did you not tell Jimmy any of this? You got freaking married and you had a baby. I guess because Jimmy's mentally insane, that's probably why you kept it from him. So now I apparently need to go to room 301. I mean, I did see that I needed to go to room 301 before. It's just there was nothing in there before. Is there going to be something here now? There's nothing there. Okay. I know sometimes you need to turn around like a specific way. No, it didn't mean to do that again. Let me see, is there something in the bathroom? Oh. There is something in the bathroom. Okay, so I just checked and Rose is in room 223, I assume. That is down this way. 218 there. And then... 219. So that's 221 and 222. Oh no, that's 220 and 221. So then 222 and 223 are down here. Oh yeah, that's right, yeah. It's this part here. Cool, I remember now. This is the part that we saw Jimmy in the in the bathroom. Or freaking Rose saw Jimmy in the bathroom. Is anyone there? Here we go. So I guess things escalated more, and now there's a freaking baby in the picture. I guess first of all, man shouting. Oh no! Is it Rose? Is it Rose? And then man shouting and child crying. Yes. And then we link that with I guess like the child thing that I've got. Then I heard a man shouting at someone, telling them to do as he says. Who was he? Jimmy. Oh, not Jimmy. Okay. I guess that is Who did the, the baby rattle. To? Oh, really? Couldn't have freaking guessed that. Okay. Baby you rattle. There, there we go. One thing you could give Hugo. Does that have something to do with the oh, baby rattle? Oh, we know it's rattle? Hugo, I guess. Okay, a baby doesn't solve anything. There's still more. Okay, scrying mirror. What next on the agenda of still talking to Rose in this room? Oh, that's uh, that's the ground floor, right? Okay, I will go to the ground floor then. Wherever you say, oh, magical mirror of scryingness. I completely forgot what the name was then. Let's go. Let's go back to the ground floor then. Jimmy is not going to be here. Yes, he isn't. Okay. Is yes, he isn't a saying? I have no idea. This is wrong, isn't it, where the skulls are? Never mind, it's right. Brilliant. Shows you how much I freaking know about the layout. Okay, so it was facing over this way, right? So I guess we go here and then turn around. If it's exact. Here we go. Or it might be a bit further back. Okay, not really sure what this one is. I guess, ooh. It's the elevator. The elevator is in the lower ground, apparently. Oh, it's going... Oh, no, it's going further down. I do not want to go in this freaking basement. 